Santa Girl just dropped on Netflix, and this stars Jennifer Stone, Barry Boswick, Devin Werkheiser, Joshua Cody, and Michaela Witt. This is all about Santa's daughter named Cassie Claus, played by Jennifer Stone, who wants to go to college abroad, and her her her, her father says, fine, but you do know that you gotta marry uh you do know that you gotta marry Jack Frost son and take over the company once you get back, but you you can go to school for just a little bit. So when she goes to school, she meets Joshua Cody, played, uh, 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 I'm sorry, she meets JR, played by jo Joshua Cody, who we later find out isn't who he says he is, but she also meets Devin Werkheiser, who we know as Ned, from Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, if you grew up in in the mid 2000s like I did it you know this show really really well and you've seen him many many times he plays uh, Sam and you know exactly how it's going to go but since Santa Claus does not want his daughter to go into the real world without any help or or without any supervision he tells Pep, a elf to go along, who is played by Michaela Witt, who I just really enjoyed. She's only done two things, but I think she deserves a lot more work. Uh, she was really good in here. Jennifer Stone, if you don't know, uh, you've definitely seen her if if you grew up with with television in the mid two thousands. Also, oh, yeah. she was uh, in the ways in the Wizards of Waverly Place. Uh, with David Henry, Selena Gomez, David DeLuise, those people. This film is really, really charming. Sorry about the guys had a little phone call there. So, she played Harper in Wizards of Waverly Place. Now, this film is really, really cute. It's very well done. There's a couple problems I have with it, but they, they're more like a nitpicky type of a thing. This is a Gravitas Ventures film. I usually get screeners from them. Uh, but for for some reason, when they went under a, a new PR move with a new person, that PR person did not send links out for four or five months. No, Nobody got any. Nobody got in, in in contact with them uh, uh, about them because we don't know what's coming out until they send us a link uh, to to request the screener. So, I did not get to see this when it was going to be going out in theaters. I wanted to. I am one of the people who reached out saying, hey, can I get a review screener for Santa Girl? I heard nothing for weeks and weeks and weeks. So, I decided since it dropped on Netflix, you know what? Hell, I'm just going to watch it. It can't be that bad, and it's not bad at all. There's a couple nitpicks I have with it, but we'll get to those in a minute. There's legit chemistry between uh, between Ca Cassie and Sam, or if, if, if you call them by the real names, Jennifer and Devin. Uh, they've definitely met before you... You can almost bet on it because they were stars uh, in in two of of the biggest children's or teen shows of all time. So you have to bet that they've at least met each other once or twice, every once in a while here or there. But Barry Boswick, Barry Boswick is one of those actors who he just plays Santa Claus. He plays. He he looks like a, a a Santa Claus type of a character. It just looks like that. So, bam. The cinematography is pretty decent. The writing is okay. But the nitpicks are starting now. There's a couple really really weird edits here and there that I don't really understand, and some really weird shots with some unnecessary zoom zoomed-in shots, and really unnecessary, uh, 
see, I I don't want to call them shots where where you're looking right up at at the person. So just imagine if if all all of a sudden I was right here and you're you're looking up, up at me like that. That's pretty much what it is. Too many sh shots like that where it's unnecessary. But those are my two nitpicks that is going to dock it down a little bit. And, and again, the script isn't the complete best. But I'm going to say it's a decent enough watch. It's probably the best movie that I've, I've watched. Or my favorite movie that I've watched all week so far. There it is. My review for Santa Girl. You'll be getting a lot more reviews very, very soon. And I cannot wait to talk more Christmas with you guys. There's my review of Santa Girl. I'm going to give Santa Girl an A-. I enjoyed it very, very much. Going to try and look for uh, a, a DVD or Blu-ray copy. Or maybe even get a copy to review, I'm hoping. But stay tuned for my next reviews. I will be having reviews for the uh, television films Two Turtle Doves. Nostalgic Christmas, Christmas with a Prince, Christmas with a Prince, Royal Engagement, I think it's called. Uh, you'll you'll also be getting reviews for Mary and Bright if I can get the remote to work. M Mary, Mary and Bright, Sweet Mountain Christmas, Christmas Scavenger Hunt, Always and Forever Christmas, and Christmas. Reservations. There's all the Christmas films I have coming up, along with next week, I'll be reviewing uh, Netflix's Let It Snow movie. There's our, all, all of the Christmas reviews that I have coming up. I got a couple reviews from Mill Creek Entertainment coming your way very, very soon. Uh, I will also be seeing Last Christmas and potentially Terminator, Dark Fate, I don't know yet. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.